and I'm streaming. I'm not going to play any chess this stream unless, you know, somebody really wants to play and really gives me a lot of money. I just want to talk about stuff. Nothing in particular. In fact, I'm going to answer questions in the chat. Uh, and I'll probably stream for like between 90 minutes and two hours. My daughter's in town, so I don't want to spend all day here. <laughs> Did a lot of shopping today. We had a blitz tournament. Um, and that got 20 players, I think. And then tomorrow we have a game 45, four rounds. It'll be probably 35 players or so. Um, yeah. And so forth. So I've been busy shopping and getting my hair done and my daughter's hair colored and, you know, eating with the families and so forth, mainly and so forth. So, yeah, the more you donate, the more shopping I can go with Iram. So. And so forth. Ooh, Perry. Hello. It's Aviv. I wonder if that's Aviv, the one that says Aviv Co. 43. 50 50. It either is a Vive or it isn't. Yeah. It says he's a, he's a, it says he's a, uh, he's a, uh, uh, a subscriber. So I doubt it's him. <laughs> uh, I wonder if a Vive is a Vive. Windfinder subscribe. Hooray. Yay. It says I'm 2601. My lies are coming true. Man, you guys aren't very bright. I didn't know that. You always say there's zero viewers when I start <clears throat> streaming and there's nobody watching or there are. Twitch hasn't updated yet. I mean, you know, you could use your brain a little bit. Not too much. But yeah, obviously it's going to say zero viewers because that's what it starts at until it refreshes, which Twitch takes a long time to do. But anyway, I guess you guys just like saying zero viewers because I don't know. Brain damage when we were a kid. Uh, Dork Bink subscribed. Synthetic Assault subscribed. Felix Frias subscribed. Hooray, the more brain damage you have, the more you uh, subscribe to my stream. 1800 today. It's Friday the 13th. My day was good. Busy. Yeah. Go Hype Train. Mine's just stuck at 100%, which doesn't make any sense. Can't be stuck at 100%. Yeah, I got a haircut and a beard trim this morning. Good, good. Now I'm all pretty. Now when it's 90 degrees, I'll sweat slightly less. Yeah, so I'll answer questions. You saw me at Cherry Hill? Well, then you're not Aviv. <laughs> I hit 1,600 today. All right. Yeah, somebody on the internet, a poker player you guys don't know, he said, I decided like a month or two ago to lose... Eight kilograms, and I'm happy to report I only have 12 kilograms to go. So that was funny. And let's see. Where's Aviv? There he is. I'm streaming. All right. Uh, Cali Gambler. I have to refresh again because the hype train's stuck on my thing. It just says 100% level one, which isn't true. Yay, there it is. Unstuck. Yay, go Ben. Now you look like Russian. In Soviet Russia, chess plays you. Yeah. And I was always pretty. Now I know I'm pretty. And so forth. So yeah, let's talk about the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. It's been up and down for everybody. The most down since the first day is Dominguez. Dominguez was tied for first after the first day. He was playing great. He was looking good. And then he just collapsed. So <laughs> he's not, not doing well. He's in like eighth place or something out of 10. And he was tied for first. And Hikaru drew his way to the top. And because everybody was losing. And then he beat Fabi in the last round. So now he's in first. And the blitz is coming. And Hikaru hasn't lost a game unless I'm wrong, which is 50-50. I might be wrong. So Hikaru's slow and steady wins the race. He's drawn a lot of worse positions, and he's you know won a couple games here and there. Um, Fabi never draws; he just loses and wins. And when he loses, it's bad, and when he wins, he's back up in first. And he lost the last game of the day, so now he's in second. So, and Jeffrey Zhang, you know, I don't know what happened to him. I had faith in Jeffrey Zhang until I didn't. And Shanklin's up and down, but he's been up lately. 
But I don't think Blitz is going to be kind to him. So, truth hurts. Domingo's got five out of seven on day one. Eh, I don't think that makes any sense. <laughs> Can't be out of seven. <laughs> uh, then got one point. Yeah, all right. Some of what you wrote is right. I'm not sure what. Maybe the five part. Uh, bum bum three one five subscribe. Good, good. Mm, Shanklin had a good win against Caruana. Yeah, any win is good. Yeah. I was asleep. The blitz. Not gonna sweep the blitz. Probably win the blitz. <sighs> Naka's definitely not playing the best, but nobody is consistently playing well. And obviously the blitz is going to help Hikaru, but it's not online blitz, it's real life blitz. He's in online blitz, he dominates more than in real life. Still good in real life, but you know, old and can't pre-move and you know, such. So not as good as it used to be. I do have a good rapport with rapport because I've never met him. Uh, let's see. Five out of two and a half out of three. Fries without ketchup. Wait, what? Did you change your mind regarding Hikaru? Or do you still believe he's a bad person? Thank you. You're welcome. Hikaru is the best person in his chair. There's no doubt about it. As long as nobody's touching his chair. Uh, let's see. We're like that. That's right. Who are your top five mods? Uh, let's see. Dylon, 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 and Dylon. Because they spit on fire. Rapport, you know, he plays suspiciously, but he wins anyway. So that's good. How do you reach 2,000 rating on chess.com? Well, if you're me, then you could have like a lobotomy. Or if you're lower than that, then you should play better. So there you go. Rapport is your new favorite player. Man, what's Dubov going to say? So it's funny. The last like four years, I'm like, what's the difference between Judah and Rapport? It's never clear who's older or who's higher rated because I don't want to look. And they remind me of each other. They're both tall. They look sort of similar. But anyway, then Judah won the World Cup and we're like, all right, I guess Judah's better. But then I looked at the FIDE rating list. After Judah won the World Cup, he was still lower rated than Rapport. So I, I don't Rapport's like 13th in the world and Judah's like 15th. So, and Spencer says I'm crazy like Fox News because he said Rapport plays like a maniac and Judah plays really solid and tons of theory and prep. So they're like opposite players, but their ratings are about the same. Uh, Mayhem 1-4 on... Oh, Mayhem on E4. Yeah. And so forth. Punishment for cheaters? Would it be a convenient punishment? I don't know. Convenience good, though. How much would chess change if black went first? Uh, I, I guess not at all. <laughs> be the exact same game. Uh, let's see. Report isn't so active. Well, maybe we should exercise more. Carlson played against him, so he more wins and losses or draws. Man, they say there are no stupid questions, but you guys push the envelope. I gotta say. It's Karen. I'm about to head out. Right. I have to take Archer home. Um, okay. Ian's going on you. Usually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. So she is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, yeah, yeah, 118 centages. Hey. Mm -hmm. Strange number. It's Karen. Mm -hmm. Yay. All questions are stupid. All right, now tell me this is a stupid question. Mm -hmm. The guy said, if Magnus played against himself, would there be more wins and losses or draws? Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, just an old nerd subscribe. Good, good. These guys always want a hot tub stream. What do you say, Karen? Is that going to happen ever? Yeah. yeah. Karen says yeah. Yeah, he yeah, asked her. Yeah, when Yasser comes, which we don't know when that's going to be, it could it's going to be in the next two years. I've already broached the topic with you. Right. Karen's in, talking to Yasser. Now, do you guys want to see me and Yasser in the hot tub or just Karen? <laughs> Kevin, our heart 51 subscribe. You were saying Boo Earns. Obviously you. Yeah. 
Yeah. If Fisher got reincarnated, would he be aggressive? You know, Magnus dissed Fisher. They asked Magnus today, um, if you could play anybody who ever lived, like, at any time, who would it be? Yeah. And he said, number one, Kasparov in his prime. That would be awesome. He said, number two, Fisher in his prime. But it would be dull because Fisher was a dull player. And I was like, what? And he said, number three, tall, because tall, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> What? Fisher? What? First of all, you should have said Morphe, 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 or Dylan. It's a junkie back here. Uh, the Killers have a new album? Maybe. Just Yasser. So instead of me and Yasser or you, just Yasser. That was the answer. <laughs> I have been in a hot tub with like three other grandmasters, although I wasn't a grandmaster, in 1994. There's pictures somewhere, but there's no video. Um, Amp Podian subscribed. Thank you, thank you. I want to see you and Gasser in a hot tub, and I'll pay $1,000 if I can join. The more you pay, the more you can join. Mole has subscribed. What a bad day to have eyes. Yeah. yeah I told Gasser that the crowds are clamoring yeah. for him. The hot tub streams will be streamed on OnlyFans. Yeah, harsh. Is he, is he, oh, I'm not getting in a hot tub. You know, Gasser and Ben. What? But if you get in the hot sub, that'll be like a top shelf stream. Yeah, I, don't I mean, you know, you know, that'll be the breast stream ever. The breast. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. yeah. That won't be me. Um, <laughs> I show you the best adults places. It's cheap and good. Yay, it's cheap and good. That's what Karen wants to hear. Uh, can we see Chess 960? I hope not. How does a maniac play? Uh, you have to listen to Michael Sembello. Then you'll know. Incorrect, Karen. What's incorrect? Wait, what's incorrect? I don't know. <laughs> Would you rather be a smart garage door opener or a bathtub water jet? Man, the truth hurts. Hey, Felix Grace. Yeah, you know, for a really, really large donation, I'm getting to this hot tub. With you and not yeah, sir. <laughs> what? Have Loose Cannon One subscribed. A lot of money. Then I'll just go all amaranth on you guys. Damn. Yeah. She's a man. Yeah, that's that, that guy got it. <laughs> Yeah. That's for one thing. Not going to happen. I tried to go to an adults-only place once, but they said adults-only, so I had to leave. Yeah, the truth hurts. But what we really need is you and Aunt Yasser and some Speedos. You <laughs> mean a Speedo? <laughs> you know, Yasser and a Speedo in his 20s would have been good. Now, you know, not, he's not in his 20s. You know. That's what we got. That's what, well, that's what the that. crowd demands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Day drinking is rough when night rolls around. Uh, Thierry Arago subscribed. Even though I pronounced his name wrong. My ears would bleed. Oh, my eyes would bleed. Yeah, yes, they're singing YMCA. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and the speed up. Mm -hmm. All right, I got to go. Bye. No, no, <laughs> no. See you later. See you. Yeah, that was a good tournament. Yeah. New people and kids playing their dads. Uh, yeah. How do you teach chess to artistic kids? I just pretend they're autistic kids. That's easy. Yeah, but thinking isn't your strong suit. Um, yeah, I'm streaming every day. Is that what you meant? I'll be on Chess TV 8 to 10 tomorrow. It's supposed to be on Chess TV 8 to 10 Sunday. You know, this is all Eastern. But I, I'll probably show up late because, um... We're having a party at our house for our family, the Karen's family, and lots of people. So there'll be like 15, 20 people there. And that starts at 6, and it's going to end about 8-ish. So I'll probably start at 8.30 or something. Uh, which of the strong U.S. juniors have you most impressed with recently? I can't even name the juniors now. I don't know. And look how tall with a mustache. Are they doing more commentary? Am I doing? No. Naka won today. Hi, Ben. Can you solve a Rubik's Cube? I cannot, but Holden's pretty good at it. Did you see this? I saw all the games. Yeah. Who's my favorite Sopranos character? Tony Soprano. Although I do like um, a lot of the side characters. I like Fury a lot. Um, I mean, I like all of them, but... 
I mean Tony Soprano. Champ 1977 subscribed. Where is Gotham Chess? I guess at his house. I don't know. Not sure where you. Um, do you like almond milk or soy milk more? At my house, I like almond milk cold and I like soy milk hot. So that when, when I go to Starbucks and I get milk, it's soy milk. When I'm at home, I buy almond milk. So I don't know. Do I like AJ Soprano? Not really. No. No, he's probably one of the worst. Do you think Polly betrayed Tony? No. Favorite Wire character? I, I don't watch it. So. Who's my favorite second tier side character on The Simpsons? I don't know what second tier is. I'll name people and you tell me if they're second tier. Uh, Mr. Burns, Chief Wiggum, uh, Jasper, uh, Mo. Let's see. Smithers is good too. Any of those second tier? <laughs> Primary, what? In the final episode, Polly plotted, no, that didn't happen. How's the Atlanta vegan restaurant scene? It's very good. And Walt, Jesse, Saul, Hank, etc. That was pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good list. Hank's really good. Yeah, Hank's, you know, probably third. Uh, let's see. Do you guys do events for people? Wait, what's the question? Out of state to come at the chess center like a weekend tournament. Yeah, we have tournaments all the time. HLChessClub.com has all of our events. We have a tournament like every day. Uh, we have weekend tournaments every weekend, and sometimes we have two-day tournaments, which we do soon. Tomorrow's a one-day tournament. Then the next weekend, we have a two-day tournament. Uh, let's see. I don't understand that question. I don't understand that question. Uh, Matthew Eskelin gifted two subs. And it's like a weird thing. I'd never seen like it. I'd never seen the way it looks. It's different, the fonts or something. It looks really cool. Rod and Todd. No, those aren't good characters. Smithers is a... Not Smithers. Flanders is a great character. Favorite Monty Python player? Uh, John Cleese. Um, seen the new movie, Supreme. I heard about it, but I haven't seen the, the movie. Have I seen the trailer? Maybe. It looked bad. It sounded bad. It's going to be bad. Yeah, the, the, the movie's not going to be good. Bishop takes, gifted a sub. Yeah, it looks different now. I like that. Thank you. Who else besides Karen and yourself are employed at the chess club? Our employees. Yeah. Is it possible to go from 1750 to 1900 in two months? Yes. And the easiest way to do it is to have the doctor remove the crayon that you stuck up your nose that's lodged in your brain from when you were a kid. If you take that crayon out, then 1900 right away. Chicken Blunder subscribed. Is the Danish Gambit any good? Sure. What's my favorite game? From the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. It's, it's. I guess um, Dominguez Mamajarov. Because Mamajarov played Queen G6 and Knight C5. That was awesome. I like that. I mean, obviously, Shanklin's win against Mama Jarv was also good. So basically any Mama Jarv game. Oh, you saw Cool Hand Luke? Good, good. George Kennedy was great. And George Kennedy nowadays is known for those stupid naked gun movies, which weren't stupid. But he played, he was a comedian. He's the cop and he's like dumb. But I mean, he was great in Cool Hand Luke, George Kennedy. He was great. Yeah, but he's, I mean, he's known for all the Naked Gun movies where he's the, the police guy. Um, yeah. 
The cool hand look is amazing. You should also see Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and the Sting if you want to see Paul Newman movies you would like and The Hustler and so forth, mainly and so forth. Uh, chess, it matters to you. Please answer me. I don't even understand the question. Um, do you have a job? You should be banned. Uh, the Iron Bird something. Iron subscribe. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Terrible questions. Did you ever play Go? Not really. Is the Botez Gambit any good? Probably. 11 years subscribed. Hooray. If you had a rematch against Alejandro, would Grishuk still bet on Alejandro? He should. <laughs> I would get crushed by Alejandro. Now I'm old. He probably wouldn't bet on him, though, because he saw what happened the first time. But he probably should bet on him. <laughs> uh, Road to Perdition is okay. Yeah, it's not a bad movie. It's not, you know, it's not one of his five best movies, but it's a good movie. Yeah. I don't really like movies with Tom Hanks because he's the most overrated person of all time. He's like a C plus. Uh, but everybody says he's an A plus plus. Well, he's okay. But he shouldn't get all the accolades he gets. He's, yeah. C plus. But yeah, people, you know, have low standards. So, I mean, he's really bad. Really bad. And that what was that terrible movie that had, you know, my guy in it, Paul Bettany? Man, Paul Bettany, there's an actor. Um, what's the terrible movie about the Illuminati in France and, you know, Tom Hanks? What am I talking about? I never remember the name of the movie. Um, that's how bad it is. Uh, Tom Hardy is a fantastic actor. Da Vinci Code. If you watch Da Vinci Code, watch it again, you'll notice Tom Hanks can't act at all. Maybe he wasn't trying. It's like he just read his lines and he's like, am I done? Ugh. And then Paul Bettany, I didn't know it was Paul Bettany. Right, and I know Paul Bettany. And... When the credits came, I was like, who was that Who was that guy? And it was Paul Bettany. And I was like, oh, my God, because he was so good. Yeah, he plays the the um, uh, albino who's uh, flagellating himself. No, no, Tom Hanks is not a good actor. He's a C plus. But, but, but if you want to see a good actor, the, yeah, Tom Hardy's good. First of all, a movie that didn't get good reviews... Because all the reviewers are wrong and I'm right. Okay, it's true. It's very rare that every reviewer is wrong and I'm right. Very rare. But it, but, but they're but, lawless. You have to see lawless. Did you see lawless yet? Okay, and, and, and Tom Hardy, and then for some reason Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf plays the wimpy brother. Man, that was good casting. You can't. There's no better casting than having Shia LaBeouf play a wimp. I mean, that was, that, whoever thought of that was a genius. There's another guy who's just as wimpy, but I forgot his name. Like a famous Hollywood actor. He's like the wimpiest person ever. He's, he's wimpier than, than Shia LaBeouf. Who's the wimpiest Hollywood actor who's not Shia LaBeouf, Karen? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's always, yeah, he's like, you know, you, like Ear would beat him in a fight. Ugh. Ryan Gosling, your band. Smash to Key subscribed. Uh, I was scared of the albino in that movie. That's right. Now, that guy, th that guy who, who who played Paul Bettany, he's one of the Marvel guys. He's the, in one Marvel movie, he was godlike. In the next Marvel movie, they just kicked his ass. In one Marvel movie, I think it was the first one he was in, he was the only one who could pick up the hammer like Thor. And then in another Marvel movie, he just got his ass kicked and his wife had to save him. So that didn't make any sense to me. And then he's the imaginary guy in A Beautiful Mind. He's the imaginary roommate. I mean, the guy's a genius of the highest caliber. And... Paul Bettany is married to Jennifer Connelly. God damn. And they were both in that movie, in The Beautiful Mind. You're welcome. Keanu Reeves is better than Tom Hanks. Close. 
Okay, he's worse. But yeah, it's close. Uh, Green Mile was a good movie, but you know, Tom Hanks was like a C plus, as usual. Tom Cruise is a good actor. Michael Sarah is very boring. Uh, man, I wish I knew who the yeah Lawless is great. I know every I know every reviewer said it was bad. They're wrong. It seems you're wrong. <clears throat> I can't think. Name every actor who's wimpy. You, you'll get it eventually. <sighs> If I see his name, I'll, I'll know it's him. Uh, yeah, David Morse was good. David Morse was also in, obviously, St. Elsewhere, but he was also in um, What's the Bjork movie that's really good that you guys didn't see? I know the name of the movie, but give, give me an hour. Dancer in the Dark. God damn, I got it. Dancer in the Dark is a great movie, and you guys didn't see it. It's got Bjork for some reason. And then the director is semi-famous. I think he's more famous in Europe. And then... That, that, that great actress that you guys never heard of. He's so great and never heard of him, I can't think of his name. He's the, he's the quiet guy in Fargo. He's Steve Buscemi's partner. That guy's a, Peter Starmari. That guy's a genius of the highest caliber. Peter Starmari and, 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 the, and the guy the guy from St. Elsewhere, David Morse, and, and Bjork, that movie's fantastic. It might be too good for you, like you're, you probably want to see where there's a lot of explosions or something, but that's a great. Uh, yeah. Christian Bale's the greatest actor ever. If you want to see Christian Bale and realize how good he is, see the movie The Fighter, which you should have already seen. If you haven't seen it, what's wrong with you? Christian Bale is the greatest actor ever in that movie. And also the woman who played the mom, she won an Academy Award for that movie. She's one of my favorite actresses, too. I never saw her before that movie. She was also in an episode of Louie, which was very funny. Um, they're getting set up by their friends, and then they end up going out, and it's very funny. I can't talk about it in the stream because I'll get banned from Twitch. Um, I forgot her name, but I'll think of it. And she was also, at the end of Flight, she was the one questioning Denzel Washington. And then he said, I'm drunk right now. God damn. Elijah Wood might be right. Is it Elijah Wood? It might be Elijah Wood. That's a good answer for who's the you know, most wimpy. Sapiens Octopus subscribed. Hooray. Uh, let's see. Ed Norton is a great actor. God damn. Gilmore the Great subscribed. Hooray. Yeah, D Dancer in the Dark. Jude Law now. Dancer in the Dark, uh, all the Paul Newman movies I mentioned, um, and then I, I, there's another one you didn't, none of you saw that I got mad at. William H. Macy often does play wimpy guys, that's true. There's a really good movie none of you ever saw called Hard Eight. It's got William H. Macy, and it has the guy who was the library cop from Seinfeld. He's got three names. There's two guys with three names, but he's the one who's alive. And he's really elderly. He's probably 90 now. The other guy, like, I guess committed suicide. The the other actor with this, his three names also. I confuse them because their names are very similar. Um, something Baker Hall. Philip Baker Hall. Yeah, I confuse him with Philip Seymour Hoffman. They're both Philip and have three names. Philip Baker Hall, he's a million years old. He's still alive. And he was in, you'll remember him from Magnolia. Yeah, he was great at Magnolia. Everybody was great at Magnolia. You guys, you got to be, yeah, I don't think you guys are ready for Magnolia. You got to get a little more seasoned, right? That movie takes a year to watch. It's a very long movie. Yeah, Philip Baker Hall was in Heart Eight, and so was William H. Macy. And don't confuse William H. Macy with Bill Macy. They're different people. Hope you didn't confuse them. 
William H. Mace is great. He was great in Fargo and etc. Lars Van Trier is correct. Spelled Lars wrong, but it was a typo, obviously. Lars Van Trier is the director of Dancer in the Dark. Frankly, ridiculous. That movie's so good. I've never been mad at you guys for not seeing that. If you see Dancer in the Dark and you like good movies, you'll be like, why is Bjork a good actress? You'll be mad. Like, she should just be terrible. You'll be furious. And they got into a fight, Lars Van Trier and uh, Bjork, during the filming, and she left for several days. And then eventually she came back, and she said she's never making a movie again. I think she spit on him, but they didn't get along. But, you know. Uh, David Morris, adult film star. Hooray! Yeah, Peter Stormare is, is the greatest. Yeah, Dance from the Dark is the greatest. Uh, the Machinist was great. That's another movie that shows you what a great actor Christian Bale is. The Fighter, um, one of the Batman movies. I don't know which one. Uh, I here's what Batman did wrong. Michael Keaton was the first Batman, and he was awful. So after that, I didn't like want to watch Batman movies anymore. So they, they shouldn't have, I mean, I would have liked all the Batman movies if they didn't start with the worst actor ever. You know, horrible. Uh, yeah. The Mechanic is great. Or the Machinist. Yeah, Machinist. Um, yeah. In the fighter, he has a Boston accent, and he's from Wales. Pretty good. Uh, the fighter is meh. Incorrect. <clears throat> You've never been more in... Melissa Leo, thank you. Loose cannon. Yeah, Melissa Leo was great in the one episode of Louis she was in. She was great in the fighter at the... At the, the great in fight. Flight. Ah! Great in flight. She was at the end of the movie questioning Denzel Washington. And she had like suit on and very serious. And then she was the mom in the fighter. Greatest actress ever. Peter Stern was in the Big Lebowski and sit down when I tell you this. Oh, wait. You sitting down? He's in the Frogger episode of Seinfeld. He's the guy who says, where's the holes? When he, he's the electrician. You mean the outlet? What? The holes. Where do I plug this into the holes? Yeah. And then he was furious they weren't robbing and stealing. He thought they're stealing the frog. He says, no, I paid for it. He's like, you paid for it. What are we stealing? Peter Stormare was confused. Yeah, he's great. Etc. Man, Matthew Perry is pretty wimpy. By the way, Daniel Radcliffe is really good in the one episode. I think it was only one episode of Extras. The Ricky Gervais show. Find the episode with Daniel Radcliffe. It's very funny. Yeah, he does. He does a good Daniel. Rad, he, do, he he plays himself. That's why it's good. Coen Brothers' best film, I think it's Fargo. Friend of mine thinks it's. Uh, what the hell's the name? Miller's Crossing. And other answers are also acceptable, but those are you know. Yeah, I saw American Psycho. Yeah. Elijah Wood is 40. He was 14 a long time ago. You thought Elijah Daniel were the same person. John Goodman was unbelievably good in flight with Denzel Washington. He's in the movie for like three minutes, and he's unbelievably good. Nobody could have done that better. Nobody. You know who I used to like and they stopped acting or I stopped watching their movies? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Is Clive Owen. I just like Clive Owen. But he, I mean, he made a million movies in like a five-year span and then I don't know where he is now. But I like, and he was in this funny movie, I think it's called Shoot Me, but I remember, where he kills people with a carrot. Yeah, that was funny. Wasn't good, but it was funny. Yeah. William H. Macy's not in Heart 8. The, the, there's a movie about gambling 
and he's the guy who gives everybody bad luck. Is it hard eight or it's called something else? Because that's William H. Macy. Unless it's not. Pretty sure that is. What's the movie where the, the casino has a, a guy who's just bad luck and they hire him to stand next to people who are winning and they start losing? That wasn't Hard Eight? And that wasn't William H. Macy? Magnolia, Magnolia, Philip Baker Hall's 89! Yeah. Uh, John Goodman is usually great. Usually. And John Wayne Gacy, kind of. Uh, Philip Baker Hall. Yeah, Philip Baker Hall is the library cop. God damn. No, I haven't seen where he's Santa in Sweden. No, I've seen a couple of Lars Van Schreer movies, but not the one you mentioned. Anthony Michael Hall does seem like a big wimp. I agree. Is Chad a good at chess or worse than Kasparov? I don't know. Was it Bjork or Bobcat? Oh, I'm going to have to say that was Bobcat. I'm sorry, that was Bjork. Uh, the Cooler. I'm confusing Hard Eight with The Cooler. Yeah, sorry. That That's the movie I was thinking of. I thought it was called Hard Eight, but it's The Cooler. Yeah. Yeah, he was The Cooler. Yeah. Now, Lars von Trier made a movie. I think it's Nicole Kidman. If it's not, you know, don't at me. And there's like, fate, like, it's obviously a set of a movie. Like, things are drawn like this is the carpet. It's like weird. Dogville? I want to say Dogville. And I want to say um, the actress I just said who I forgot already. I like that movie, but that movie is hard to understand. Also, I could be of the wrong name and the wrong actress. Nicole Kidman, Dogville. Did I make that up? If I didn't make it up, that's good. Uh, it's funny. I was thinking of a Woody Allen scene today that was really funny. I don't know why I was thinking of it. There was a woman. Okay, so it's love and death. And this guy's girlfriend slash wife, I don't know. She's coming on to Woody Allen. Doesn't make any sense. And she says, meet me like in my, you know, my room later tonight. So he does. Woody Allen comes in and she's like super hot and like a negligee. And it's, you have to see it, but it's, it's good. And then he looks like shocked. And she says, is something wrong? And he says, well, I, I, you know, usually I like women who are, you know, who are sexy, but you know. The way he said it was funny. Then after he hangs out with her, then the guy finds out and challenges him to a duel. And that's also funny. The duel is very funny. And then here's what happened. He wants to marry Diane Keaton and she just wants him as a friend. But since the guy's going to kill him in the duel, she says, well, if you live, I'll marry you. Because he has no chance to live. But he does live. And they're at the wedding, and she's in a wedding dress, and she says, I can't believe he missed the other guy shooting. <laughs> eh, truth hurts. Uh, Michael Keaton was great in Birdman. Also, Michael Keaton was in... What's the Tarantino movie? Jackie Brown. He was like a, he was a cop. Not in for long. That has my guy, Sid Hay, he plays the judge. Yeah. I've never seen Ted Lasso or anything about it. No, Christian Bale's great in American Psycho. Yeah. Uh, do you think, I, I didn't see Melancholia. Helen Alda, I didn't see that. Yeah, Machinist, right. Bale is good in Ford versus Ferrari. I did like that. Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe and extras. That's correct. Fine Gold Roar. Spencer knows what I'm talking about. Spencer introduced me to, to, 
to uh, to extras. No, Keaton wasn't good in Batman. Boo, boo. Uh, Barton Fink was a good movie. Michael Lerner won Best Supporting Actor. I thought he was great. Yeah, get nuts. Let's get nuts. Uh, Patrick's, yeah, I mean, Extras is a great show, obviously. And frankly. Uh, Plus 10 points. Ben Stiller in Dodgeball. You know, are you banned yet? You honestly couldn't stand Clive Owen? Boo, boo. Terrible. I'm sorry I'm 10 minutes behind the chat, but I'm reading everything, so. <clears throat> I thought Clive Owen was in an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I might have imagined that. But I thought he was in an episode. So I don't know. Philip C. Riley. Uh, is it a John C. Riley? Because it is. There Will Be Blood is like Spencer's favorite movie. I saw it before he was born. So I don't even remember it. Yeah. Yeah, The Cooler. Yeah, yeah, that's in the Curb episode, yeah, what you just said. Godfather movies are the best. Godfather 1 and 2 are probably two of the top five movies ever. So you're banned from the stream. Yeah. Um, John Goodman, 10 Hours, Kardashians, then Godfather. You know, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess you voted for Trump. <laughs> McJurgle subscribed. Yeah, he spelled John wrong, but all right. Detroit Lions are losing their first game right now. The wrong there, but all right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The cooler. Who killed Tupac? I did. Philip Baker Hall plays the library detective in Seinfeld. That is correct. Uh, Eyes Wide Shot. That's one of my ex wives favorite movies, or one of her favorite. It's like a C plus. Uh, at thirty, what was your main goal in life? At thirty, I was thirty. Well, I don't think I had any goals then. Still don't. James Con was great in The Godfather. Yeah. The the part that James Con played. Uh, Robert uh, De Niro tried on four, and they said, no, no. Norm MacDonald is good. Texmate 39. Go Texas. The subscriptions are bigger in Texas. Uh, this is better than Abe Simpson's ramblings. I put it together from sugar packets. Pittsburgh Prime subscribed. Hooray. Nice haircut. That is correct. Uh, I never heard of that person, Felix. Crimes and misdemeanors is, you know, right. Uh, smoke break. When did you realize your ring was stagnating? How did you cope with it? I don't know. Uh, bird person. Bird person's great. Agreed. Uh, didn't see Antichrist. Never saw Ted Lasso. Uh, a guy who looked exactly like him married us. The, the guy's a dead ringer for Sid Haig. R.I.P. The guy who married us looks like Sid Haig. I mean, it is Sid Haig. It's just, it's not him. It's his doppelganger. Birdman was a great movie, so somebody ban whoever said it wasn't. Um, I did see Vice. Good movie. <clears throat> Thanks, Jim R202207 for the sub. Uh, my friend got a speeding ticket on the way home from Ford versus Ferrari. That's good. DeVito was good in Batman. All right. Yeah, Vice was good. I liked Vice. Uh, underrated. No, your rating is your rating. 
That's, it can't be underrated or overrated. That's your rating. Your rating tells you how, how you're doing. That, that's your rating. You can't be overrated or underrated. That's, that's your rating. It's nonsensical to say your rating is not what it is. That's what it is. That's like saying the number seven is underrated. It should be 10. That's, that's what it is. Your rating is how your performance is. So when you perform well, it goes up, badly it goes down. Nobody is underrated or overrated. That's your rating. Um, Clive Owen was good in Children of Men. Correct. Uh, as a Swede, you spelled Swede, S-W-E-E-D. God damn. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis is a great actor. Yeah. Uh, I got to catch up. Clive Owen played himself in Curb. That's right. Uh, McJurgo subscribed. I probably said that. Uh, favorite environment. Yeah, I don't care. My Godfather 1 and 3. <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. Cosmic Apatheosis subscribed. Good, good. That's right. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. Yeah, and also make that coffee to go. No, 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 just kidding, guy. Uh, you didn't vote for Trump. Terrible. Double Z just subscribed. You guys are writing faster than I'm talking, which is hard to do. Yeah. You've seen Korean films? Uh, not those three. Who's the best actor in Godfather? The best performance was probably Al Pacino. The best actor, they're all the same. They're all equally, like, great. But, I mean, yeah. Best 90s sitcom? I don't know. Simpsons? Yeah, I mean, you're just a noob if you think you take a nap during the Godfather movies. See, the dumbing down of people makes it hard for them to appreciate things that are good. They only appreciate things that are shiny. Right? Only, like, a lunatic with no intelligence would get this microphone because it's shiny. Ooh, I like that red. Yeah. Ooh, Perrier. Arlington Road. I really like um, that guy's sister. Also, he's her brother. Um, Joan Cusack was really good in, in Arlington Road. My favorite scene is when he's at a phone booth and all of a sudden she's standing there with a creepy face. That was great. Uh, Adam Sandler and Kevin Garnett. Whoa, God, I'm going to throw up. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, Starcraft, Hikaru, Kung Fu movies. Yeah, the guy that played Mo Green in The Godfather is a great actor. He was also in The Simpsons. Yeah, he's great. Tommy Lee Jones is he's acceptable. Futurama Simpsons people don't know it. Uh, winner of EPL. I don't know what EPL is. Um, Christoph Waltz is good. Yep, Jen Mar subscribe. I said that. Did you see Thunderbird and Lightfoot with Clint Eastwood? Probably, but it was probably before you were born. So I don't remember any of it. Grant Owen subscribed. Damn, I thought I was killing this stream. I just got owned. Damn. Usual Suspects is great. One of my favorite unknown actors is in that. Pete Postlethwaite. He played Kobayashi. Obviously, the other actors are great and famous, but he's not famous, but he's great. Go Kobayashi. Uh, Mr. Nobody, I don't know. I saw the movie Nobody, if that's what you're thinking. Mr. Nobody, I don't know what that is. Um, City of God. Dog Day Afternoon is a great movie. And as good as Al Pacino was, and as good as... What's his name, his cohort? He only was in five movies, and they were all up for best picture. He died really young. He used to be, him and Meryl Streep were like, that son. 
I don't know who the guy in Dog Day Afternoon is. John Cazale. Got it. John Cazale and Al Pacino were perfect. However, Charles Durning stole the movie. Grandmaster Gus gifted five subs. Good, good. Yeah, you got us. You got us. Now, here's a movie you didn't see. I guarantee you didn't see it, and you have to see it. It's called, I mean, I know the name of it, so. It's called. And Justice for All. Oh, I pulled that out of my ass. It's got Al Pacino, but the greatest courtroom scene ever is in that movie. He has the funniest line ever. Yeah, the, the end of the movie. Jack Warden's the judge. You gotta see And Justice for All. You have to. Then when you get to the court scene that's funny, you'll be like, oh, this is what Ben was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, and Jack Warden's funny. He's always like, Thinking about committing suicide, even though he's a judge. He's always sitting on a ledge eating his lunch. He's like, all right, I guess I'll go back in and be a judge. <laughs> and so forth. Uh, you are your record, every NFL coach ever. Right. I don't give myself a ticket to be a jerk. What? F3, F6... Pig. Yeah, I saw Pig. Karen hated Pig. I thought it was good. She gives it like a D, maybe, and I give it like an A minus. She really hated Pig. She would have laughed if she was by herself. Stuck in a lift with. What am I, British? The Americans? Doesn't sound familiar. Larry David's a great actor. Double Z. Hooray. Leave the gun, take the cream soda, Peter Griffin. Yeah. Plato subscribe. Good, good. Uh, you would comment of my spelling of Swede. No. Wait, how can your wife and you be awake if you're from Sweden? That means you're not in Sweden right now? Did you say you were in San Francisco, but you're from Sweden? Or that was somebody else. Because, you know, if you're in Sweden, it, it's, it's four in the morning. Uh, weird Gus. Yes. Yeah, Godfather's great. Yeah. Crack, meth, coke, weed, shrooms, or smack? Um, uh, no. Yeah, John Cazale's great. Six Senses, you know, C+. Uh, who am I rooting for? Nobody. Go Wesley. Go Jeffrey. Christopher Walken's great. He's one of my favorites. Malva. I'm rooting for Malva. Eh, falling asleep or making out during Schindler's List. Falling asleep during Godfather is much worse. I didn't see Sense of a Woman because my mom hated it, but it's probably good. Eh, da, da, da. Grant Owen, I got you. I'm going to eat all the donuts tomorrow. Do you split eights? Always split eights. Peter Falk was a great actor. R.I.P. Yeah. First terrible actor that comes to mind? God, they're all terrible. Yeah. Yeah, P. Postle Thwait, R.I.P. Mr. Nobody Would Jerry. I don't know that movie. Uh, Robert Forster's great, and he was also great in Breaking Bad. Yeah, R.I.P. He died about a year or two ago. Maybe it was two years ago. Seven was good. Willem Dafoe's great. Kaiser Soze, no. Yeah. All right, Yafit Koto was good. My mom, you spelled Koto wrong. My mom wasn't a big Yafit Koto fan because she couldn't understand him. So he always talks like he has marbles in his mouth. I mean, English isn't his first language or his second, so it's not his fault. But yeah, I, li I like Yafit Koto. He was in Alien, and he was um, like the chief of police in some series that I used to watch you know, before you guys were born. If the big blind is 100 and I'm in position, the big blind is 100? That doesn't sound like a game you're playing in, trying to learn. 30,000, what's a good value bet with a pair of kings? Well, you didn't give me enough information, so I need more information. You didn't tell me anything. You told me, like, nothing. Uh, I can't ignore that question. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Chess is a good career choice. It's a great career choice. 
Viggo Mortensen's great. And here's the movie you have to see. I'll never remember the name of it. It has two of my favorite actors. I'll think of the name. It has Viggo Mortensen. It's like 25 years old. Viggo Mortensen and the French guy that I like a lot that nobody's heard of. He was in a really good Jennifer Aniston movie, which doesn't make any sense. Sorry. It also has um, uh, the Riz and the Jizzer in it. And it doesn't sound good, but it is. Vincent Cassell. Yes, pulled that out of my ass too. There's a movie with Vincent Cassell. Eastern Promises. God damn. How do I remember Eastern Promises? Eastern Promises is a great movie. It's probably 20, 25 years old. Has Viggo Mortensen and, and uh, Vincent Cassell. Vincent Cassell was great in the Jennifer Aniston movie, which I can't think of the name of. And Clive Owen's in it too, I think. Vincent Cassell's the most underrated actor ever. He's in like Ocean's 12 and 13. He's the French con artist guy. Yeah, he's great. Eastern Promises. I, how did I remember that? Even I can't believe I remembered that. That was a good movie. Go whatever. Uh, bridge, I'm like, in U.S. chess terms, like 17, 1800. I like Bridge. Uh, Slapshot, that was all right. Pretty funny. Sixth Sense was A+. Plus. No. Elia Gould is great. Yeah. Midnight Run is a C-. minus. Mm, the whole damn court is out of order. That's right, Harry Chess. Yeah. Eastern Promises was good. Jennifer Aniston, Vince Cassell. What's the movie? I forgot the name of it, but I mean, you know, I have to think for an hour I'll get it. Jay Wolfens, thanks for the few cent to do's. Didn't see Irreversible. But it's like a sales married to Monica Bellucci. I didn't know that. Um, barely know who she is. What What's the movie with Jennifer Aniston, Vincent Cassell, Clive Owen, and uh, and the Wu Tang Clan? What's the name of that movie? I know the name of it. I just can't think of it. Uh, let's see. All your answers are wrong. Ninety nine cent to do. Thank you. Man, why is everybody putting the wrong answer? Just go to the internet and find out. Take you a second. Oh, now the answers are jokes. Derailed. Thank you. Derailed is a great movie. I know Jennifer Aniston's in it, but it's still a great movie. There's a very shocking scene in that movie. It's the, it's the most surprising, yeah. But it's really good. Got to see Derailed. Exhibits Derailed? That's correct. Uh, hardcore scene under a tunnel. Man. What's the most weird question you've ever seen? Probably that one. Oh, snap. And then some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my son's hair looks reddish and my daughter's hair is bluish because they're very patriotic Americans. I, I said that somebody told me or I, I told somebody my son's hair is red and my daughter's is blue. And Karen's like, Spencer's hair isn't red. It's like shocking pink or fuchsia. I'm a guy. What? Red. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, yeah. Excellent movies. So yeah, Hakar is probably the favorite in the Blitz, but he's not a big a favorite as he used to be. Still a favorite. And then let's see the Sinkfield Cup. I don't even know who's playing in that. I guess some good players are playing. Somebody good. Climax sounds like I've seen it, but I don't remember. Jack Nicholson's great. And white people, I hate white people. That's my opinion of white people. 
Um, Jack Nicholson's really good in One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, and that movie's underrated. That's an amazing movie. Frankly, ridiculous. Eh, I'm colorblinded. Definitely pink. Yeah. Randy is the dark horse. Randy usually beats Rex. Yeah. Etc. This stream is great because there's no chess. Don't see how it's overrated. I said it's underrated. Is that what you meant? One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is a masterpiece. I mean, ridiculous. Is Goodfellas top 20? Sure, I'll squeeze it in. I'll squeeze it in top 20. Danny DeVito and Christopher Lloyd are in Cuckoo's Nest. That's correct. Right, it's better than an excellent movie. It's like top, It's one of the top movies. Nobody's ever said that's the best movie ever. But movies that are equally good, they say are. That movie is top 10 of all time. And it's like considered a great movie. Not considered like a top movie of all time. It's better than, than a great movie. Yeah, Always Sunny parody was funny too when he, he's running away. Yeah. And don't know that movie... Going south. Yeah, Brad Joreff, that was his first role in Cuckoo's Nest. He is underrated, and he was great in Deadwood. He was the doctor. Yeah, he's great. Dustin here. What is it? Is that like a Beastie Boys lyric? Thanks for the sub, and thanks for the whatever. Is Lee Chess rating overrated? And then some. I've seen people think Terminator 2 is the best movie ever. Yeah, those are called children and low IQ and brain damaged people. I just completed my opening statement. Yeah, that's one of the greatest movie lines ever. Yeah. From, from uh, Injustice for All. Cuomo, he didn't. Yes, he did. Cuomo is innocent, except for one thing. Other good movies that are older, uh, Manchurian Candidate, the original, Casablanca, a.k.a. Capablanca, um, 12 Angry Men is one of my favorites. Yeah, that was good. You know, obviously the originals, not the remakes. Terrible. X4 Timber! Gifted 10 subs. Hooray! Go Timber! Those subs are falling like trees. Young Frankenstein is an excellent movie. It has one of my favorite actors in it, Gene Hackman. He plays the blind man. That's, that's a great scene. When Peter Boyle busts into his place, that, that's great. That's gold, Jerry. Gold! Bishop Takes gave five subs. Favorite Adam Sandler movie is um, Rain Over Me. He did nothing wrong. Incorrect. Cuomo did everything wrong. Cuomo is guilty of a lot of crimes. A lot. <laughs> Not just the stuff he's getting in trouble for, but other stuff, which he will get in trouble for. Yeah, he did nothing wrong by, you know... Sexually harassing people. There's nothing wrong with that. But it is illegal, and it's wrong. If it wasn't illegal, it's wrong. No. Am I a Clint Eastwood or Charles Bronson fan? Yes. Now, Clint Eastwood's politics are suspicious. But, you know, I like when he's a director and an actor. What did Cuomo not do wrong? That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, Cuomo... And the truth hurts. He probably he might go to jail. Yeah. Do you think Kobe ever did the helicopter with his black mamba? God damn, that's worse than my jokes. Um, that's slightly worse than my jokes. 
It's not much worse. Beautiful is a great movie too, a Spanish movie, and also Pan's Labyrinth, and so forth, mainly and so forth. No, that's not what happened, Ju Jurassic Park. Yeah, that's just what you're saying is happening. That's not what happened. Yeah. Yeah, incorrect. Time to cancel you. Man, I unbanned everybody, and now I'm banning someone. You're the first person I banned since I unbanned everybody. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get some intelligence before you come back. Uh, blah blah blah. East was one dimensional, incorrect. Uh, LeBron or Kobe fan? Kobe. It's fun to say Kobe than like LeBron. Um, Parasite was good. A favorite Dwayne Johnson movie? No. How do you have 50 movies in your top 10? Because I'm a grandmaster. Wizard Guru subscribed. Yeah. Life is beautiful is okay. Yeah, Guillermo del Toro is great. He was great in the Sunny episode where he played Pappy McFoyle. Wes Anderson's great. Agreed. Favorite decade in music? I don't know. 70s. Como, worse than afraid of. Yeah, the truth hurts. Donnie Darko was weird. I didn't hate it. Mm hmm. 1440s AD? Mm hmm. I wonder if that was good. Mm hmm. John Travolta bartender movies, yeah. Over or under with toilet paper roll? All right, let me explain toilet paper to you. Write this down. Or, you know, save, save this clip. <clears throat> toilet paper should be over. There's no question. That's the way to do it. You want to pull down. Okay. That's, that's, that's no question. We're not discussing that. If you think that's wrong, you, you should be banned. Because you're not, you're not smart enough to watch my stream. Now, there is a case for under in one instance and in one instance only. Then I'll give you special dispensation. And that is if you have a cat and the cat likes to play with the toilet paper. Then I'll give you a break. If you have a cat and you do it under because you have the cat, okay. I'm not... I'm not but there's no other reason to do under. It's just like if you're, you know, insane. So that's that's the answer. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's see. Uh, Netflix, no. The Who, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, etc. All right, some of those groups don't belong. Use bidet, save paper. Yeah, I've watched Tarkovsky. I watched um, The Stalker with the subtitle The Zone. That was pretty weird. Who did the movie where they're in the, the famous art museum in St. Petersburg, which was done in one shot? Was that Tarkovsky or was that some other Russian director? I think it was somebody else. Yeah, The Stalker is the only Tarkovsky movie I've seen, unless that was Tarkovsky, but I don't think it was. Donnie is better than Naka? Uh, no. Incorrect. <laughs> yeah, I like Bill Burr. Karen hates Bill Burr. What's the movie I'm talking about where it's, it's shot in one take and they're just in St. Petersburg at this like museum? Was that Solaris? What, what, what movie am I talking about? 
Oh man, Jodorowsky, God damn. I saw Santa Sangre with Karen. We, we still need therapy. Russian Ark, not Tarkovsky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whole movie in one take. And they were worried when they went outside that the camera would freeze and they couldn't see anything. They were very worried about that. Yeah. Yeah, Russian Ark sounds right. Not sure if it's right, but it sounds right. I've never heard of Atomic Blonde. 20 years before they were born. I don't want to hear any excuses. Look, you can claim Tarkovsky died and therefore he didn't direct the movie. However, in one of the last Star Wars movies, possibly the last one, I don't know. They're all the same movie to me. After the first three, they're all horrible. The, the guy who was in like the first two, General whatever, he's in the last one after he's been dead 25 years. He's like one of the main characters. He's been dead 25 years. He was in the movie a lot. I don't know who I'm talking about, but, like, you know, my brother does. Yeah. Yeah, Tarkin. Yeah, he's dead forever, and he's in the movie. He's killing it. Peter Cushing, yeah. Being dead didn't stop him. He's like, whatever. Still in the movie. Goodwill Hunting was good. There's a movie I liked that nobody else liked. I'm the only person in the world who liked it. Everybody else said it was the worst movie of all time and they hated it and they wanted to kill me for it. But I changed my name so nobody found me. Uh, Insomnia with Robin Williams. I thought that was great. Everybody said that's just horrible. And I was like, what? I don't mean people said, the reviewers said. Reviewers said that's the worst movie of all time. But I liked Insomnia. Shows you what I know. And Darth Vader listened to him. Yeah, Darth Vader's like, whatever you say, Peter Cushing. Yeah. You have bad taste. I love Insomnia. It's a remake, though. Well, every movie's a remake. Mars Attacks was a good movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Avatar? All right. Yeah, Robin Williams was great. Yeah. Yeah. You know what Robin Williams was great? Now pay attention. You have to write this down too. In Louie, which Karen and I love Louie. We've seen every episode like 50 times. It was on for like four years. And then, you know, then they, they stopped making him because, you know, he's, he's you know, not, uh, not kosher anymore. Uh, he's in an episode in Louie. Robin Williams is the star of the episode with Louie and some guy dies who used to go to the strip club or own the strip club. I don't know. And then there, nobody went to his funeral, but them, then they told the, they hated him. Everybody hated him. Then they told the strippers they're like, Oh no, he was the greatest guy ever. And they're like, what? Yeah. Robin Williams and, and, and Louis, Louis CK. Robin Williams was great in that. And, Pause for effect. If you like Law and Order, or if you don't, doesn't matter, find the episode with Robin Williams. Unbelievable. Frankly, ridiculously good. He was great in the one episode of Law and Order he was in. And in the Louis episode, he was great. But Law and Order was masterful. Frankly, ridiculous how good he was. Kazam's my favorite horror movie. Kazam's not a horror movie. You ever seen Shack Act? Mm -hmm. That's right. The ending, they say, oh, we'll go to your funeral. You're right. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. I like Rob Zombie's, the two movies I like, because they have Sid Haig. That's not why I like them. Bill Mosley's great. Sherry Moon Zombie's great. What the hell? Why are these people all great? Is um, The Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses. I love those movies. Probably because Sid Higgs in them. 
Sherry Moon Zombie is great considering she's not an actress. She's still great. Bill Mosley is great. Um, the guy who plays Dwight, who plays Chess, he's in one of the movies. He's good. Everybody's good. Etc. Louis Anderson, I've seen twice do stand up in Vegas because one of his writers is a friend of mine. Um, and, you know, he was good because I wasn't thinking he would be good. But then in Baskets, he was a genius. That's one of the greatest acting performances of all time is Louis Anderson in Baskets. If you don't think so, you're banned. Unbelievable. Yeah, Rain Wilson. Yeah, he he was in he was in the Devil's Rejects. Oh no, I'm sorry. He was in House of a Thousand Corpses. Devil's Rejects is the sequel. Midnight Cowboys great, and the takeoff from Futurama that is also great. Yeah, Louis Anderson in Baskets was unbelievably good. Frankly, ridiculous how good he was. Etc. Any questions about any movie, TV show, music, chess? I know I know everything. Even if I don't know it, I'll just pretend I do. Aronofsky, what's the movie he made that was great with what's her name and what's her name and what's his name? I'll never think of the name of it. Somebody tell me the Aronofsky movie I'm thinking of. It has the famous old actress, it has the famous young actress, and a famous guy. The young actress we've already mentioned on the stream, uh, Paul Bettany's wife. I can't think of her. Jennifer Connelly's in it. No, not The Wrestler. Requiem for a Dream. Yeah. Requiem for a Dream's great, and The Wrestler's great. They're great. Yeah. Favorite rap album? I don't know. Is is um, the Fear of a Black Planet a rap album? Is that considered rap? If it is, then that one. Public Enemy, 1989. Requiem for a Dream is great, and The Wrestler is great. That is correct. Mm. Studying chess. What? I can't listen to music when I study chess. That would insinuate I'm studying chess. Black Swan was okay. Yeah, it was like a B, B minus. Margaret Thatcher has a good rap album. Hmm. Beautiful Mind was fantastic. That's an A. Paul Bettany. If Paul Bettany's in it, he's great. Grand Budapest Hotel wasn't Aronofsky. That was uh, the guy we already mentioned. Wes Anderson, yeah. We already mentioned him. Jennifer Connelly's good, but she's no Paul Bettany. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing Paul Bettany first. He's better. Nando's ZA extended their tier one subscription. She's a good actress, but she's no Paul Bettany. Horror thrill. Yeah, the best the best horror movie ever is. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, directed by Toby Hooper. I think it was 1974, but I could be a year off. Don't watch anime. Idiocracy is like a C minus. It's one of my friends, former friends, like favorite movies. Jesus Christ. <sighs> favorite Spielberg movie? I don't know. Jude Law's stage name. Paul Bettany is like a foot taller than Jude Law. First movie I saw in theaters that I remember? I was really young when I saw Bad News Bears in the theater, Alien, The Shining. I think when I saw Bad News Bears, I was six or seven. But I probably saw movies before that. But that was great. Deliverance is great. 
Yeah. The Alf, that's not worth answering. Aliens, great. Yeah, it might might be better than Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Maybe. 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 Bobby Tarantino. I don't know who that is. Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's a B minus. Huh. Instrument to listen to. I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. My favorite year was a good movie. Yep. There's a very funny scene in the bathroom in that movie. So, um, Peter O'Toole is using the bathroom and he, you know, whips it out and he's in the women's room and she says, this is for ladies. <laughs> and she says, so is this. But sometimes that's to run a little water through. And she goes, I'm not sure whether you're in the ladies' room, but you guys misunderstood. Um, well, let's see. Stranger Things, I did not. A really good movie that none of you have seen is Strangers on a Train. Early Hitchcock. Well, that might not be early. Strangers on a Train is underrated. Go see that. Sasha Baron Cohen's a genius. Yeah. Which is worse, Slav, Bishop F5, or Bishop G4? Equally bad. Probably Bishop G4 is worse. Yeah. Green Glade 47. Go Squiggles. Yeah, Strangers on a Train is great. Also good is Dial M for Murder. Yeah, see, Dial M for Murder. Also a good Hitchcock movie. I did read Siddhartha. That is correct. Before you were born. But, I mean, that was forever ago. Jesus Christ. Hey, Aram, you want to go soon? Can't hear me? Oh, she probably has headphones on. No, I've never watched anything of True Detective. I haven't watched this for a second. Let's see, who am I going to raid? Rosen, Chess Bra, and Chess Coach Net. Those are my only three choices. Ah. Probably Chess Coach. Yeah. Did we get a second train or we didn't? Because it's time for a second train. Yeah. You stay. Uh, am I going to eat something? You know, later. Not now. We eat about 4.30, 4.40. So, you know, I'll probably eat something later, six hours later, probably. Yeah. What's the best cereal? I only eat vegan cereal now. Um, I like the vegan cornflakes that I see at the grocery store. There's like a section of cereal that's mostly vegan um when i when i eat every cereal then i don't know maybe still cornflakes i like to put banana in it i really like that i love cornflakes with banana i don't know why i don't really like banana in any, in any other cereal just cornflakes it's weird is honey vegan no yer treo gifted a sub hooray and then he also subscribed hooray yeah Cornflakes are corn. How could that not be vegan? Well, regular cornflakes probably aren't, but the vegan cornflakes that I buy are, are. Most things aren't vegan at the store because they put a lot of crap in things. So if there's like one or two ingredients, it's usually vegan. If there's 20 or 30 ingredients, it's usually not vegan. Banana good with Crispix? Hmm. Vegan cream cheese? That sounds high calorie. Nine centages! Yeah. Are all most cereals vegan? No. 95% of cereals are not vegan. At least 95%. Yeah. At least. 
Um, yeah. Basically, everything you buy at the grocery store has a lot of ingredients. And most of those ingredients, a lot of them aren't vegan. A lot of ingredients. <laughs> so when you see a million ingredients in something, it's probably not vegan. If there's like two or three ingredients, then it probably is. Yeah. Now, you should never drink dairy milk. That's meant for calves, not for you. You're just stealing the milk from the calf. It's ridiculous. Nobody should eat dairy milk. Other milks taste better, are better for you. Dairy milk is like the worst thing for you. It has a bunch of crap in it. And it's, you're, you're just stealing the milk from the cow. You're torturing it. If you drink dairy milk, you should be ashamed of yourself. And you should be ashamed of yourself anyway. Because, you know, well, you know who you are. You know why you should be ashamed of yourself. Right? You know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, vegan when you're not eating. Well, yeah. Dairy milk is not healthy for you. It's very unhealthy for you. Yeah, it's just, you're just wrong. Shocking that you, the people on the internet are wrong. Yeah, if you just do any kind of search for like five minutes, you'll see thousands of pages saying why it's bad for you and how horrible it is. Yeah, humans aren't supposed to drink milk from a cow. A, a cow is supposed to drink milk from a cow. The, the, the cow's young, not you. Yeah, basically you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, and you're ignorant. People who are ignorant are like, no, I'm right. No, you're not. You're not right about anything. Anything that you think is wrong. Go look it up, do some research, have somebody smarter than you do the research, they'll tell you you're wrong. It doesn't matter what you think about anything, it's wrong. Yeah, you were just told that as a kid, and then you never questioned it because you're just like, la, 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 la. Like in your brain it goes, didn't, 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 and you're like, okay. Yeah. All the stuff your parents told you when you were a kid are wrong, all of it. They never told you anything that was true, ever. Uh, let's see. What do you put in cereal? I'm not an oat milk fan, but you know, obviously ridiculous. Almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk. Yeah, all right, I don't know. Uh, drink milk from bulls? Exactly. Bishop takes gifted a sub. You should be ashamed. Yeah. I squeeze almonds for milk. Almond milk tastes like regular milk. But almond milk is regular milk. The milk that you call regular milk is not regular milk. That's not for you. That's for the calf. You're just stealing it. Terrible. Yeah, it's not a source of vitamin D. Milk doesn't have vitamin D in it. They put vitamin D in it. They can put vitamin D in anything. They just put it in milk. Then they claim it's healthy. It's not healthy. Um... Drink your mommy's milk is correct. Yeah. My uncle used to chew his milk. That's like what Stewie said when he said, cut my milk. And he said, I can't cut milk. It's a liquid. He says, you idiot. Freeze the milk and then cut it. So yeah, maybe that's what he did. Father is doctor. Does that count? Does it count for what? I tried drinking human milk, but I kept getting slapped. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm from the professional. <laughs> you're wrong, Ben. Incorrect. All right, you're banned. I like banning people. Yeah. Yeah, you can't just say falsehoods on my stream and torture animals and be like, I can just say it on my stream. Go to somebody else's stream if you're a monster. Don't stay here. Uh, let's see. I gotta start banning everybody again. I hate you. You hate me. <laughs> I'm not an oat milk fan. I don't really like the way it tastes. Your parents told you you were wrong? Then they're right. The one thing they're right about. Yeah. Cockroach milk. There's a Simpsons episode... They might have cockroach milk in that, maybe. It's a funny episode where the mafia is selling milk to the school and it was some animal that you shouldn't get milk from. Might have been that. <laughs> Allergic to Jerry, to, to dairy. Yeah. And... Da -da -da. 
they had oat milk next to goat milk. That is funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Best way to play against the ability with white? Probably you play an early h3, knight f3, e4, bishop d3, take with a c pawn, short castle. I like that line for white. How do you play rook versus queen? I just lose. Uh, milk has a million uses. What does that even mean? M milk isn't for us. We're stealing it. We're torturing cows and killing them. And their calves can't have their milk and they die. It, the, what does that mean? It has a million uses. It's ridiculous. You're just killing animals for no reason and torturing them. It's the worst thing you could do is drink regular milk. It's, it has to stop. It will stop. You know, people learn stuff and they're like, all right, this is, this is ridiculous. The whole world is going to be vegan way after I'm dead. And it's going to be like shameful that we ate animals and stuff. Yeah. I think in a hundred years, there'll just be vegans. That's it. There won't be any, you know, you kill animals and you get stuff for animals. That's just stupid. Yeah. The world is stupid. Uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. And dun, dun, dun. Arguing that like it's good for you or it tastes good or, no, no, no. I mean, humans can taste good too, but you don't kill them and you even find out. It's evil to do it. It doesn't matter if it's good or not good. Now, Malk is good. Yeah. Etc. Ta -da. Rook versus queen. I told you I resign. You keep asking me the same questions. What's happening? Do I think a car will win the St. Louis tourney? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Torture them for milk. Only the wealthy can afford to be vegan. Incorrect. John Nunn books are basically too hard for everybody. They're not for the typical person. They're for like grandmasters. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that guy was paid to say that. It's just wrong. No, but nobody thinks that. That's just some lunatic. Yeah, being vegan isn't more expensive than not being vegan. And that's not even the point. The point is you shouldn't kill animals. You can't say, well, I want to save money. Why did you kill your whole family? It's tough having a family because it's expensive. So I killed all of them. Now it's cheaper for me. I mean, your arguments don't make any sense. You're just saying, like, it's easier for me to be evil, so I'm evil. I was evil before you were born, right? I know what evil is. You. Do I think Hikari was vegan? Thinking's not my strong suit. Yay, go up to Sinclair. He's one of my favorite Sinclairs along with Sinclair Lewis. Puzzle time. Mm -hmm. Yusufov books are good. Yeah. Milk contains things that they put in the milk. Mm. Good, good. Uh, yeah, I dropped a little weight, but it's the haircut. Anyway, if you don't like getting heart disease, I'm not saying you don't. But if you don't, I'm not saying you don't. Maybe you do. If you don't, become a vegan. Then you won't get heart disease. It's hard to die then. I mean, you might just be a jerk and your friends beat you to death. But, you know, probably not. Milk is made of sugar. What? Mm. People who aren't vegans leaving the stream is fine with me. Yeah. 
great. I am Philip. It's my middle name. Being vegan does help prevent car accidents. That's correct. Got milk. That's pretty good. Good one, Bishop takes. Unless it was a typo. Otherwise, that's funny. Vegan foods naturally rich in B12? There are, but you could just get a, a vegetarian B12 supplement. So you don't, you know, it's easy to do. And also it's irrelevant. What's relevant is, you know, you, you're not evil. That's what's relevant. Then when you decide not to be evil anymore, then you can read and do research and find out what you should do. You shouldn't just say, ah, it's hard to do that. Even though millions and millions of people are doing it, it's, it's hard. Ridiculous. Basically, you're all ridiculous. Pescatarians is, is the worst. You definitely shouldn't, shouldn't, destroying the oceans, it's torturing, the, it's terrible. Eating fish is the worst. You should all be ashamed. You shouldn't eat cows, you shouldn't eat pigs, you shouldn't eat fish. I mean, just let people, let things live. There's no reason to do it, and it's bad for you. And it's bad for the environment, it's bad for your health, it's evil, because you're killing animals for no reason. You're like, oh, I'll kill them, then I'm, then I'm, I'm hungry. I mean, you guys are the worst. Fish do have feelings, and it's not okay to eat them whether they have feelings or not. Anyway, you're all the worst. That's saying something, because you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of bad people. Uh, copy. All right, let's see if this actually exists. Uh, I don't know how to do anything. I'm too dumb. Let's see. Uh, okay. What's the question? Uh, white to move and win. And then uh, Mizuchimaru subscribe. Isn't he like the best backgammon player in the world? Let's see. All right. Yeah, everything you guys say in the chat is just idiotic. It's like you're being idiots on purpose, but I think you're just idiots. That's what I think. Uh, white to move and win. <clears throat> okay, so bishop e2. If you take it, this wins. These moves all lose. This loses to here. This loses to here. This loses to here, this loses to here, this loses to here. So we got three moves. So I'm probably right. This loses to here. So we got two moves. <laughs> We're getting down to the nitty gritty. It seems like if you go here, this wins. Because if you move your queen here or here, I think I can go here. Because I have bishop c4 check. And if you go here, I go here. If you go here, I go here. And if you go here, I go here. And if you go here, I go here. And then if you play queen b8 right away, I, I guess it's the same thing. I don't know if it's the same thing. Then this loses and this loses. You have to go here. Ah, now if you play queen e4, I have this check. And then everything else obviously loses. Yeah, so I think it's bishop e2. And then if the, the queen has to go here or here, and then I bishop here and rook here seem to trap the queen. Is that right, Gus? I don't know if it is, but that's it exactly. Good. Yeah, the king's on a bad square because the rook check is winning, the bishop check is winning, and the queen can't go here because it gets pinned. It can't go to the third rank because of here. If it goes to the back rank, I just attack it with my rook. And you, the queen just runs out of squares. Yeah. Yeah, the truth hurts. Yeah. Could rook g4 win two? Here? Rook g4. What? And you must be a non-vegan because you're not making any sense. Rook g4. What? 
Group G4? Uh, there are seven spiders we supposedly eat at night during our sleep vegan. Are there seven spiders we supposedly eat? What, are you in a horror movie? Yeah. Yeah. Again, you're, you're all insane and stupid. <laughs> you guys don't know how to argue anything. You just know how to be dumb. Yay, Bishop takes. This is engine checked. Hooray. You must be a milk drinker. Rip G5. Is it the rook hanging? What are you talking about? What? The whites are playing when not lose. Yeah. All right. I hate you all and you're all the worst. But see you guys next time. And try to donate some more. Uh, let's see. I like chess coach. Let's read him. Thanks for watching and so forth. Mainly and so forth. Uh, let's see. Okay, I rated the right person. All right. Try to do some research before the next stream and learn to be a vegan. And don't kill animals anymore. Don't torture animals. And we'll discuss it next time when you're more educated. Or you could, you know, just smash mustard packets in the parking lot. That's also what you could do. Bye, everyone.